Hello guys, this is Ankit from Legalize Nepal. Welcome to this brand new video guys. And I got a question from this guy called uh, Blind ASA Backpack. And he asked me this question that uh, what kind of weed can I find in Kathmandu? So it's a good question guys. So I know most of you guys may be packing your bags and you know uh, planning to come here over Nepal and smoke some Taurus and Polum that kind of shit so the main question is guys what kind of weed do you get in Kathmandu so actually guys although weed grows wild in Kathmandu most of the grow, uh, weed that grows wild are chopped off by the cops and local authorities so most of the stoners and potheads like me, uh, we travel outside of Kathmandu Valley to get some weed. So there is this uh, simple rule in Nepal and that very basic rule is uh, the more higher you climb, the more indicish plant gets or you will find more indica kind of a strain. And if you travel in lower regions, the plain regions of Tarai or the lower hills of Kathmandu or any other lower lower hills of Nepal, you will mostly get Satipa dominant land races. So Indica strains are rare in Kathmandu. You cannot find Indica strain in Kathmandu. Hell, you cannot find any good weed in Kathmandu these days, guys. So, most of the tourists, they have the opportunity to uh, smoke good weed because uh, as soon as they land in Tribhuvan International Airport and grab a cab or van or whatever, the local drivers, they offer them with hash and pollen which is good uh, pot is not good in Kathmandu Valley either you can buy from sadhus uh, which most of will, uh, most of them will sell you leafy weed they have weed full of leaves and stems and seeds so it's not good so the very basic rule is to travel in rural and remote areas where cannabis is grown in wild you cannot find good quality weed in Kathmandu guys so uh, you can for, uh, forget that if you are planning to hike if you are planning to travel Nepal then there are good chances and that you will find good quality weed uh, places like Rukum uh, I, I might say Darsula so the basic rule is to travel in rural and remote areas that way you can stay safe from local authorities first thing and the second thing is you will get high quality weed uh, the price is quite cheap in rural areas and quality is good like I already said it so guys if you have any further questions about cannabis and weed in Nepal please write me more in the comment section down below so guys, I want to talk about one more thing and that is Polam. So how good is Polam and Hash in Nepal? So it all depends guys. If the Hash and Polam is made from good quality plants, good quality birds, then obviously the Polam will be good, the Hashes will be good, Charas will be good. If it is made from the leafy plant, immature plant you know they just rob it from immature plant and they sell it then th those types of uh, charas is not good most of them mix uh, i bought most of them mix food polish with charas in Kathmandu mainly uh, so don't buy charas from rickshaw drivers especially Sometimes uh, taxi drivers will sell you that kind of charas as well. 
so you have to be careful guys they will mix tar in it uh, the tar that you that is used in uh, pitching of the road i hope you understand what i'm saying and uh, that's not that kind of shit so you have to be careful so the basic rule is to travel remote the more remote and hilly areas you travel the more indicates the plant gets and pollen is widely made from indica plants in nepal so and chorus is made from mostly sativa plants so it is good to buy chorus and pollen in the, in rural areas quality is high it is fresh flavor is such delicious of that pollen and chorus from rural and remote areas so guys make sure to come in nepal and enjoy cannabis peace